Hey guys, and welcome to the Friday last day of the week, week two. Um, today's will be a pretty quick video. Um, I'm just going to be talking about what you guys need to just finish up and send to me. And if you guys have any other questions or anything like that, just make sure you send me an email and we'll just stay on top of everything. Um, so first off, uh, I just kind of put these two uh, questions back out there just for you guys to go through and finish. So the cell phone plan, a couple extra things if you weren't able to read this yesterday. But remember, um, instead of maybe looking at uh, cost per text message, because not a lot of places have that anymore, maybe you could look at cost per gig of data, or you can actually go through and create your own similar problem. We talked about this a little bit yesterday. Um, then using maybe something other than a phone plan. So maybe you can think of something like maybe there's a gaming plan. So if you play, you know, Xbox or PlayStation, you can go through and look at the different prices of those gaming plans. Or if you're involved in like a rec center, you know, how much does it cost per month in a rec center? And is it worth it to go, you know, different compare different rec centers um, if you like doing that? Um, or if there's something... Um, of that sort that you can set up in a similar way. So um, so really think of, we talked about this a little bit yesterday during our meeting, uh, just kind of go through, figure out different things that you're doing in the real world and uh, try creating different systems of equations and solving them using elimination or substitution. Um, so see how you can really go through and work through those. So we have our cell phone plan um, is there. And then also we have um, the car question. Um, where you are looking at uh, how much money you want to spend per month. Remember, I gave you the number 350, but if you want to change that, just kind of write that out in your problem. If you're looking at maybe spending more, spending less per month, um, I gave you two, an example of two cars, uh, the Jetta and the Corolla. So you can go through and look at those. Or if you really want to you know, explore and look at different uh, cars, you can look at maybe what cars your parents have or different cars if there's a different um, dealership or something by you. But you can just look that up online, Google it, do a little bit of research. Um, because that's what a lot of this is about going through and actually figuring out things that you're going to be using um, in the real world and going through and answering these questions like how many uh, miles per gallon each car gets, uh, the price of buying the car, um, the gallon for gas and different things or how much it costs for a ga gallon of gas and using that to create different equations to use your substitution elimination with. All right, so just kind of go through, make sure that uh, as you guys go through and finish these different questions up, um, that you send them out to me. Um, just send them by email. I'm going to compile them, and then at the end of the year, I'm going to put everything together, uh, different things that you guys have done. I'll actually put all these together and send them to you sooner so that you can actually use them if you haven't gone through and done elimination or substitution. But other than that, um, that's all we, you really need to finish up. Finish up those couple of questions. Create some more word problems. Um, I posed that question to you guys yesterday to see if you can actually, rather than just these two, actually create your own word problems. And that kind of goes along uh, with this question that I went through um, and looked at and saying that, you know, try thinking of a bunch of different ways that you can involve substitution elimination in your life right now. Maybe not just your life. You can talk to your parents about it. If you have any siblings, you can talk to them as well and see if, you know, something that they're interested in, if you can somehow relate that to these different types of equations. All right, so what I'm actually going to do is I actually have a prize for one person, whoever sends me the most diff the most equations or the most word problems. Um, I'll announce that during the February session of who the winner is. Right now, I know someone has sent me four. So if you can send me more than four problems, you'll get a prize, um, and I'll end up sending that out to you uh, for that. So if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Other than that, I hope you guys had a great week. Um, if you have any questions or need anything, we can always meet up on a Google Meet uh, as we go through this. Uh, but other than that, have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a Good New Year. And I will see you guys in February. Other than that, you guys have a great day and go Eagles.